Michael Damon here. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? It's your rifle here. And in this video, I'm covering Zer's location and what kind of goodies he'll be having for us. I'm going to be breaking down his goodies so you guys know what his goodies are capable of. So as you can see, Zer is located right down here with the Vanguard leaders. All right, to start this off, he is selling an exotic chest armor for the Titan. Special for this chest armor is grenade booster. You can carry an additional grenade, which that can be very handy. Not to mention the special ammo upgrade, as well as the heavy ammo upgrade. So you'll get to carry more ammo as well. I'm going to go ahead and try my best at pronouncing this chest piece name. The Armamentarium. And you will need spin metal to upgrade this. Okay, up next is the Warlock's chest piece. Which the special upgrade for this chest piece is the improved Axion Bolt. Your Axion Bolt grenade spawns an additional seeker. Respawn with full grenade energy. You're going to need Spirit Bloom to upgrade this chest piece. And not to mention it has a perk that increases hand cannon ammo. And as well as a perk that increases special ammo. The chest piece is called Void Fang Vestments. Okay, now for the Hunter's exotic chest piece. It's called Alpha Loopy. And it has a giant wolf with what looks like mixed with some type of bird as well. It looks awesome. It's on the front of the chest piece. But anyways, I almost bought this exotic chest piece. Just because of this perk that you can get called Keeper of the Pack. Which what this does is you revive fallen teammates faster and they revive you faster. And not to mention your super also spawns additional orbs for teammates. So this is an extremely handy chest piece and it helps out the team tremendously. I was definitely thinking about buying this. Not to mention it also has perks that increase the hand cannon ammo and the special weapon ammo. You're going to need relic iron to upgrade this chest piece. There's also an exotic engram Zer is selling for 23 motes of light. All right, now for what I decide to buy instead of that chest piece. I decided to buy the exotic weapon you can get. It is an exotic auto rifle called Suros Regime. And it has this perk that you can get called the Suros Regime, which what it does is the bottom half of each magazine deals bonus damage and has a chance to return health when dealing damage. That's what got me to buy this weapon. And not to mention, it is an exotic auto rifle. I'll go ahead and show you a little bit of gameplay of this weapon with no perks upgraded yet. As you can see, it has quite some distance on it and the magazine size for this auto rifle was 33 bullets. Nonetheless, this weapon would be good in PvP and PvE. It's an overall awesome weapon. So if you are thinking about getting this weapon, I recommend it just because of the perk that you can get called Suros Regime. I know sometimes it can be a hard choice deciding on what you want to spend your strange coins on. And in my opinion, if you are having a hard time deciding, I recommend you spending it on this auto rifle. You will not regret it when you get this thing fully upgraded. You will need Relic Iron to upgrade this exotic weapon though. But that's about wrapping up this week's Zer's review. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And if you haven't, stick around and subscribe for more Destiny content like this. But I'm out of here though. Thanks everyone for watching and most importantly, thank you all for your time. Peace. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to glitch in a DLC area from the House of Wolves DLC. And there will be two areas that we can access from this DLC in this one glitch.